such a mistake. And I promise myself I am not going to get involved. What is? I'm talking about your brother, Patrick, and Nancy Feldman. Oh. Don't worry about that, Mother. Just friends. What's wrong with that? You know, I believe it's gone way beyond friendship, I'm sorry to say. You mean they're... I mean they are no longer just friends. And it is a terrible mistake. I know this is hard for you to accept, but if they are more than just friends, there's got to be a better euphemism for it than that. Isn't it true that they would really care for each other? Well, do care for each other of that, I'm sure. Nancy is a lovely girl. Well, would you rather that she weren't? Oh, Siobhan, please, don't put words into my mouth. I'm talking about the fact that they're getting involved in the type of relationship that's going to be in trouble to both of them. Why? I mean, I know you've got trouble with the uh, religious differences, but, but if they really love each other, isn't that the most important thing? No. It's far more important who they are, what they believe in, and who their children are going to be. I don't believe you said that. Siobhan, for heaven's sake. I mean, I'm not talking about religious differences that are based on dogma. I'm talking about Patrick's entire Irish Catholic tradition that makes him the person he is. And Nancy's heritage is just as important to the lovely person that she is. Now, neither of them are going to be able to turn their back on that. They think they can, but they won't be in the end. And what does that mean? Here we have two lovely young people, hopelessly in love, not able to work out any common ground for a future relationship. They seem to be doing all right at the moment. Well, they're not married, dear. And they don't have children. Plenty of mixed marriages have been successful. Not often. Not when the two people that are involved have families as committed to their faiths as Nancy and Patrick. No. No what? No, I don't agree with you. Well, maybe, dear, that's just because you don't understand as much as you think you do. What's your father going to feel about this? Or David, or Beryl Feldman? Excuse me, Mother, but you and Daddy and Dave and Beryl are not the principal parties concerned here. I don't see how any of you can impose your standards on your children. I'm not in the habit of imposing my standards on my children, as you should know very well. What does that mean? It means, my dear, if I impose my standards on my children, you wouldn't be doing half the things that you do. You certainly wouldn't go off to lecture, or whatever you're doing this morning, for the family planning conference. Siobhan, please, I can't sit by and applaud when I see two lovely young people that I happen to love getting involved in a situation that could give them grief for the rest of their lives. Now sit down. Now fix your breakfast.